Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you precious people wherever you are watching from. And I'm here today. I'm glad that I'm here after a couple of days. Um, my apologies for those who are expecting me to come and share this message. Uh, but uh, because of other commitments, I could not come and share with you in time. At the same time, uh, my voice was a bit worse. Uh, but today I, I, I can share with you the message that I promised uh, concerning the men who surrounded David. This is the message that I want to share with you. The reason why I'm coming to share with you uh, these messages, I understand my role and I understand what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. There are many voices that are speaking to the nation of Zimbabwe. There are political voices, there are analyst voices, there are other voices that are claiming to be the prophetic voice of God and all sorts of information that we may find on the media. But I want you to understand that God will never be moved with all these things that are happening and all inform the information that we may find uh, or in our nation as far as uh, our politics is concerned. So I'm here as one of those who try to hear God in our situation to understand that uh, in our case, in our situation and in our scenario, what God, what is God saying to our situation and how um, is our situation uh, as far as the mind of God. So understand through the spirit of God that uh, uh, David, when he was anointed to be king uh, over Israel, he did not automatically become the king as i showed you from my previous messages but um, he was waiting for that time where uh, it, it was going to be publicly confirmed where you would not run away from so but during that time there were people who came and rallied behind david these were the men that came uh, and to, and surrounded themselves around David. And this is the message that I want us to focus on today because I've got another message uh, as a follow-up message of this one. But today we want to see the first group that came to rally behind David when he was, uh, and he, when he had nothing, when he had no people who were following him except that it was uh, known that David killed Goriath and he was um, uh, anointed to be king. Let us hear what type of men who came and surrounded themselves around David. Let's hear from the scripture so that I'll come and conclude the message that I want to share with you today. 1 Samuel chapter 22 David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was discontented, gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them. And there were with him about four hundred men. And David went thence to Mizpah of Moab, and he said unto the king of Moab, Let my father and my mother, I pray thee, come forth, and be with you till I know what God will do for me. And he brought them before the king of Moab. Right, I, I know that uh, some of us we listen but some of us we just jump the case so that we may hear what is the conclusion of the matter uh, let me just explain uh, for those who may not have um, got the details of what i wanted to put across but so let me just explain the men that came to uh, to david is according to the bible these were the men who were in distress and these uh, were the men who were under distress. The, the Bible said everyone who was in distress came to David. Everyone who was in debt, those who were in debt, everyone who was disco, uh, discontent, they gathered around David. Now, these were the ordinary people who realized that only David is the man who was now carrying their future. They could not see uh, their future uh, in in Saul's government because they already knew that God had uh, taken the the anointing out of Saul. So they came and said, "We may not remain in this debt. We may not remain in this distress, this content, things that are happening in society, in our life. We cannot continue." with this kind of life so they went to david while david had no men so when they came to him 
uh, they just came and said, we have come to make you captain. And they made him captain. Now, I want you to understand that uh, David um, uh, was made captain because uh, this was a structureless um, uh, group. Realized the potential of David being the key and said, let's go and run behind. Those who were not under distress, they could not join um, David. Those who were living comfortable, they could not join him. They, those who were no debts, they could not join him. But they were still living good under uh, um, government of Saul. So they could not see anything wrong about that. They could not see their spiritual eyes were still closed because um, they were still in the comfort. Those who were content, they were still uh, living good under uh, Saul's government. That is why you must understand that those who may come and comment, those who may come and put analysis, which may be allowed because everyone is entitled to his own opinion, some are talking from a point where they are content. You can't, uh, you can't, um, uh, you you can't compare a person who is content and a person who is not content, because a person who is content, whether a person is the government is going to change or not, to him he cannot feel anything. As long as maybe life is going on, his business is going on. Maybe those business people who may be fearing that, uh, no, uh, this kind of government or what is happening in the nation is affecting their businesses or their day-to-day -day running. These are the people now we may see going and identifying themselves with the ordinary people. But I will tell you, the majority of the people who are not under distress, who are not in the debts, who are sinners uh, or who are content, you will never them, uh, you will never see them even voting. And they they may speak in the comfort of their homes and offices uh, through media and newspaper, but come to vote, you will not see them. You will never see these uh, big cars, push cars coming, or seeing these uh, big Madonna standing on the queue uh, saying we are voting. They will not vote. Uh, they, what they will do is simply influencing uh, maybe the, income, the, the the outcome of the elections. So why am I saying this? I just want to encourage you, as I said, the men that surrounded David, the men of David, are the people who were in this situation. So if you are in a situation where you find yourself, you are in a distress because of certain life or things that are not working out well, you are in debts, you are uh, in, in discontent with the whatever is happening, maybe economically, uh, you know, currents, you name it, we know how people can be affected with different challenges of economy or day-to-day -day living. These are the people, or you are the candidates, who should understand where the nation is going and to identify uh, the potential leadership, the alternative um, government to say, as much as so is still there, but uh, where are we going? What is going to happen tomorrow? So they put their energy and, and they also put uh, their, their faith into what was uh, uh, standing as the future government uh, of Israel for that time. So these were the people who built up a David group um, at the early stage. Even David had no men. As you are going to see, I'm going to come and share with you another message, which I'm going to uh, prove to you that uh, what is happening uh, is not something that is not in the scripture. People may say, yeah, this group is, is structureless, it does not have structures, but you find out that uh, uh, what happened, David uh, only put his structures, recognized uh, um, people in certain groups after he was confirmed publicly proper that David is now our king. Today, I don't want to get there. But during the time where Saul was chasing after David, trying to hinder David to ascend to the throne, uh, the people who were just surrounding David were people who were discontent, people who were in debt, people who were uh, in, in, in debt or in distress, who were saying, we want to see something happening uh, in the future because we know so no longer holds uh, that mandate because God had already taken the 
uh, the leadership or the anointing from him. So they identified David. So people of Zimbabwe, I've come to say why the people of David, why the men surrounded David, um, <clears throat> They had a cause. They surrounded David because they had a cause. They, they were looking forward for a change. So in Zimbabwe, people are looking for change. Yes, people might say, uh, no, are you now campaigning? This is not, not a campaign per se. This is an obvious thing. People might uh, remain silent, may not talk about it, whether men of God or not. Uh, yes, some. if you are not given that mandate to speak, then that's fine, you understand. But as for me, because I know that people are looking for a, a, a better life. People are looking for a better environment. People are distressed. People, they, they don't want to live in debts. They want to come out of it. They don't want this discomfort. They just want to live their life uh, as usual under a good government. So these are the people that surrounding. And the reason was very specific so that their life will change. And that's why they made David their captain. And uh, for the, during that time, David was just their captain until the time uh, came when David was uh, properly confirmed uh, publicly uh, where the whole house of Israel, including those who were not uh, recognizing uh, David's anointing, uh, came to Zimbabwe. And I urge uh, Zimbabweans uh, that uh, instead of fighting, uh, if people would understand the mind of God, people should not fight. Should, people should simply say, this is our nation, and we have identified and we have seen that um, God wants to do this in our nation, and God has uh, uh, appointed someone to be a leader. Uh, this is not an issue of politics only. I want you to know that uh, God is uh, leading the events. So it's very important for those who are praying uh, to understand, to not to pray with an eye on ear uh, of your political view. Uh, sometimes we just need to uh, remove these jackets and, and, um, and, and listen to what God is saying. Then we will realize that God has uh, already set a direction where the nation is going. That's why certain people who are in distress, people who are dis in comfort uh, are surrounding David. And they are surrounding for the purpose, not to, to make only David their king. But uh, they were also expecting, if you had to ask these men, they will tell you that, uh, men, um, I, I, I'm tired of this uh, distress. I'm tired of this debt. I need to live a, a, a free life. I can't run um, my life like this for years and years. So uh, running behind him and we are making him our captain now. So people of Zimbabwe, um, this is what is happening. People are running because God has already anointed him to be the next king. If I want to be specific, uh, people might uh, refuse, defend or whatever they want to do. This is going to happen in our nation in Zimbabwe. So people of Zimbabwe, let's continue to pray for our nation of Zimbabwe. We, uh, people of Zimbabwe, we enjoy these um, um, benefits that God has given the nation of Zimbabwe. Those who want to uh, wait until things happen, then wait, things are going to happen. And I'm going to come and share with you another message of what happened uh, when David was confirmed and, uh, and, why, uh, and when he started to put the structures in different um, the groupings of people so we understand what God will be doing. So don't be discouraged with what is going in the media. God has already said what should happen, but people should take their role and do what they have to do. God cannot do what people can do. He can only do what, what men cannot do. So voting is what you can do. So you do whatever you have to do, then the rest God will make sure that you put things in place as God will be moving the nation in the right direction. God bless you. Remain under his cover.